Hi, I'm Eric Musco, Social Media Coordinator for Star Wars The Old Republic. Today I'm going to talk to you about navigating the game world, all the things you need to know about getting around, from using the in-game maps to taking advantage of different types of transportation. There are actually several tips that can help you complete missions efficiently and travel across some of these massive worlds more quickly. During your adventures in the Old Republic, you'll be sent on numerous missions for a wide range of characters. While many of these mission givers will tell you where to go, you can get a more precise idea of where your objective is located by checking your map. You can bring up your map by pressing M on your keyboard. Right away you can see your location by finding the circle with an arrow. The arrow also serves the practical purpose of showing you which direction you're facing. Once you know where you are on the map, you can figure out which way you need to go to find your objective. If an objective is located in the same area as you, it will be highlighted with a green triangle. If it is located in another area, it will be represented with a green arrow showing you the place where you can find the stairs, doors, or elevators that lead you closer to your destination. Your map can also be used to find other points of interest that are near you. On the left-hand side of the map window, you have a list of icons that include vendors, trainers, and mailboxes. You can filter these options by clicking on the buttons next to each one. If you have a number of icons bunched together, like vendors in a marketplace for example, at the bottom left of the window, you have a small box that allows you to zoom in more closely on the map. Your mini-map shows the points of interest in your immediate surroundings. Using the plus and minus symbols, you can zoom in and out. Just like with the main map, you can filter specific points of interest on or off. The worlds of Star Wars The Old Republic are huge. Understandably, you don't want to run clear across a world just to complete a quest. That's where the taxi system comes in. At various points on each world, you'll find taxi or speeder stations that can help you get across large distances more quickly. These stations are usually located in all the major areas and at spaceports. Sometimes, routes will be open to you automatically. Other times, though, you'll have to visit a taxi station before you can actually travel to it from other stations on the world. If you aren't sure whether you've unlocked a station or not, look at the icon. This icon indicates the taxi station has yet to be unlocked, while this one indicates it's ready for use. The taxi system isn't the only way to get around. As you progress through the game, you'll learn Sprint, which increases your character's movement speed. You'll also be able to buy a personal speeder later on. Quick Travel is another way to get around the world. This is an ability you get right at the start of the game on your ability bar, and it allows you to immediately transport back to any number of bind points on your map. Just like with speeder stations, you'll need to unlock these bind points. You'll find them near taxi stations and in cantinas, making them a convenient way to jump back and rest when you're logging out. Later on, you will unlock a similar ability, the Emergency Fleet Pass, that allows you to travel back to the fleet from anywhere in the galaxy, but this skill can only be used once every 18 hours. One other thing we wanted to talk to you about, throughout your travels, you're going to see caves, doorways, and other areas hidden behind a green or red barrier. These are special areas, which can only be explored by certain classes or unlocked after taking on specific missions. If you are able to go in, the barrier will be green. If it's red, that area is off limits. Now that you know the basics of getting around in Star Wars The Old Republic, get out there and start exploring the galaxy. If you have further questions, you'll find there are other tutorial videos to help guide you through all the different aspects of the game. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.